So let's now talk about uh, the way we can add a route in order to, uh, to define a set of users who will be able to approve a change action without the need to add these uh, users one by one inside the change action. So the, we solve this uh, issue by simply adding a route directly into the change action as part of the members of uh, the change action. So what you need to know, uh, in order to create such a route, the route has to have uh, the route template has to have a type of uh, approval, and then we release simply the route after we make uh, the complete definition of it with all the users and the tasks and the way these um, the approval uh, process will be uh, defined in this uh, route template. Now, once it is released, it can be uh, available for everyone who has the app, the, um, the right to create and to work with change actions to, sim to simply take this uh, route template and add it as part of the members of the change action. Now, uh, these are the two conditions of the route template. As you can see, the maturity state of the route template needs to be released, so it will be available for uh, users to reuse it in their uh, change action definition and the route base purpose needs to be approval. So once uh, this information is available in the route template, then it can be used inside the change action. So let's see how this will work. I mean, this is a simple definition. I can now take this route template and I can add it as part of the members of the change action. So this is a widget where I can create my template. I can see here I have made the definition of all the tasks and this route uh, template has the route base purpose as approval. And obviously it is also released. So I can use it now in the uh, as part of the change action definition. So I'm adding now this uh, route template as a member inside the member list of uh, this change action. And you can see that there is a tab called approvals. Currently, it's empty because the approval process did not start yet. We did not initiate this process. But we have the members, and as part of the members, we have this new template. So now let's start working on the change action. So it's the classical uh, process where I promote it to uh, in work. And now I am, let's say I'm going to work on this uh, engine under the authority of the change action. So I apply work under and I finalize my work. So now I want to freeze it. So I promote my engine, my engineering item to a frozen state. And I want to ask or request approval of, uh, of this work. So I promote the change action to an approval. And at this moment, you will see that tasks will be sent to the users because now the route has been created based on the route template. And we can see now the approvals in this new tab. And you can see that there are two ways to look at uh, this uh, information, either in a grid view or in graphical view. And basically from here, um, directly from the task, we can, um, we can uh, review the content and we can define a comment and approve uh, the task, which will promote the route to the next step, as we can see here. So the first couple of tasks now are approved. And now the system will move on to the next uh, task where each one of these three uh, tasks have to be uh, approved. And I can do that directly from the change action. So I simply, I can open uh, the task. I can approve it from here. I don't have to leave the change action. I can do everything from uh, the change action itself. And this way we complete uh, the work on approving the change action directly from within uh, this approval task, uh, approval tab. So it's really uh, very easy to uh, understand what is the approval process, who is involved in this uh, process, and you don't have to leave your change action uh, environment because this is the environment that summarizes everything around the change, where you have uh, the information about the change action itself, the members, uh, the proposed changes, and mainly the realized changes, which will help you to make decisions how you are going to uh, react, let's say, to uh, the content that has been realized. And you can do all of this uh, from within the same change action. And you can see the full process here. And you can react to, uh, to the work that has been done directly from uh, the tasks which are available in this approvals tab.